Good evening. Welcome to this week's video. Um, this week, come to another new location of mine. Um, still fairly local to me, actually. Uh, come over to a place called East Quantock's Head and just walking. It's only just over a half mile walk from a very little picturesque hamlet, very picturesque, um, out to East Quantock's Head Beach. Um, anybody who's watched my previous videos will know that I've been to Lillstock Beach, um, which is about two mile that way. And then the next beach along, or the next, is Kilve Beach, which anybody that's regular on my channel will know that that is a personal favorite of mine. I love Kilve Beach, and we will be going back there again, because it's just got so much to offer. Um, but this week, I've come along to the next little beach along, uh, which is East Quantock's Head to see what that has to offer. Uh, little stock is a lot of stones and pebbles. Kilve, if you've seen the videos, is some great, amazing rock formations which never fail to give compositions. So we're going to have a look and see what East Quantock's head has to offer. So just walking down, I'll come back to you when we get to the beach and let you have a look for yourselves. Okay, what's walking down? Um, yesterday was the longest day, uh, summer solstice. Uh, no doubt there was plenty of druids down at Stonehenge and up on the top of Glastonbury Tor. Um, needless to say, yesterday was a bit gloomy, so there was definitely no spectacular sunrise or no spectacular sunset uh, but today it's actually looking a little bit more promising there's a bit of cloud cover at the moment um, some light rays breaking through with the sun going down uh, we've got a good good hour good hour 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 and 20 minutes before sunset so we've got plenty of time uh, to get down, see if we can sort some compositions. So hopefully we can get something worthwhile. Okay, so I've uh, already got straight into my first shot, set up rather quickly. Um, they are just disappearing now, but there was some great light rays coming through the cloud over there. It's just sun's just breaking through a bit brighter at the moment. Um, so I quickly, quickly set up. I've got the polarizer on, um, and I'm using this bit of a reflection here coming in from the bottom right hand corner and leading up into the center of the shot um, got some nice textures in this bit of the rock here and a bit of sand um, and leading out to those that um, that really nice sky uh, I may even put a put a grad filter on quickly and just see if I can pull out those um, 
doing a couple of multiple exposures uh, multiple exposures at the moment um, I may just bring a, put a grad filter on to uh, try and bring a bit of extra color a bit of extra detail out in those clouds but yeah looking good to start with Okay, with the uh, quickly receding tide, because it does go down very quick here, as well as it comes in very quick and can catch you out. Um, I've, I've taken a couple shots, sat up on here at the moment. Uh, there was some nice lights just breaking off the corner of that rock there. Um, we've got the waves lapping in around. Um, so I have chucked the 10 stop filter on and just doing some slow exposures. I haven't had a chance to talk through because it's been fairly quick setting up. So I'll put them up and let you have a have a look. So using this bit of side light to uh, get some shots. Let's try a couple of slow exposures. And then hopefully we'll get some color in the sky when it um when that sun drops a bit more uh i'm just gonna hunt around relocate and try and get some more Okay, we got this uh, this rock here with the sun setting behind. Um, could give quite a nice minimalistic shot with a slow exposure to soften all these waves. Uh, so I'm currently shooting at 30 seconds. 30 seconds, ISO 100 F8. Uh, got to focus on that rock and get in a uh, couple of slow exposure shots. Yeah, it's looking quite nice in the back of the camera, so I'm just going to readjust, readjust slightly and take a couple more. Filter off, zoomed in on that rock, get my focus. Lock the focus into manual and then put the filters in. Okay, quite enjoying doing some slow exposures. I've not done any for a while. Um, partially because I'm too lazy to mess around getting filters out. 
and putting them on. But definitely worth it this evening. Definitely worth it. Getting some really nice shots. So grab a couple more before this, uh, whilst this sky is like it is and the light is like it is. I'm just going to relocate and try and get a couple more compositions. So stick with me. Okay, so I've relocated. Got this uh, big rock here to the right of me. A couple of little ones. And then we've got that um, other one that I was shooting at just before, off to the left. Uh, nice slow exposure. Hopefully sunlight reflecting down through the water there. Giving some nice, moody, soft shots. What I am doing with these slow exposures um, is on this camera you can close off the eyepiece. Um, I think several other cameras now you can do that but it always pays to try to do that because it stops light bleeding through on the eyepiece. So um, it's just good practice. Feel like I'm cheating on my favourite location of Kilve Beach. I have to say, I think I prefer East Quantock's Head. This is a epic location. I love it. Definitely coming back here again very soon. Okay, for now, the composition I've chosen. As long as this tide doesn't go out too much between now and sunset. Um, it's this shot here. Um, what I've done is, is chosen, I'll just show you the composition. Uh, I've got this line of rocks here leading in from the, from the bottom right hand corner. And I've got all these textured rocks here that are still wet from the receding tide that are given a bit of reflection and also this bit of a pool here in front which is given some reflection of the sky so it's uh, looking promising a lot of it is going to depend on that sky at the moment it's giving me some nice moody clouds so Still getting some nice shots, but if we could get a bit of colour in that sky, it could be the icing on the cake. It's how far this tide's going to go out. We may need to relocate. Okay, I've made a last minute decision. To relocate the tide has receded a bit too far for what I was liking for that shot um, not too sure what options we've got but I need to find something right I'll come back to you in a bit okay sadly that cloud on the horizon is just far too thick I think the uh, I don't think we're going to see any more of the sun. Um, but even so, certainly not disappointed tonight. Um, cloud formation's been nice. We've got some nice shots, got some nice reflective shots. Done a few nice slow exposures. So, and found a new location that I really, really like. So, I am definitely coming back here again very soon. Very nice. 
it um, would possibly make a nice sunrise location because all these rock formations lead, lead towards towards the east so the sun the early morning sun picking up on these formations I think would be amazing yeah giving it a few more minutes and then I think we'll probably start making our way back very very enjoyable evening well impressed I'd like to say it's a secret location but it's not there's um, obviously people been here before but um, but anyway it's been uh, it's been well worth it so from East Quantox Head Beach um, hope you've enjoyed this video uh, I certainly have enjoyed it so um, please if you do like it uh, hit the old subscribe button and the notification bell that would be much appreciated and um, give the video a like if you've enjoyed it and it's always nice to get some feedback so please drop a comment down below okay off home now so until next time thanks again for watching take it easy